Hey guys, I'm Geosphere, and in this video, we are going to go over how to get shout outs to show up on your screen. Now, I just want to remind y'all that I am a content creator on both YouTube and Twitch, and I get this asked to me all of the time. How do you get your shout outs to show up on the screen? Well, until just recently, I had been using Streamlabs Chatbot to do it. But with this new widget created by CDOD on the Stream Elements Discord, it's super, super easy now, and it looks almost identical. So if you're looking for a very quick, literally like two minute setup, follow the video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So what we're going to do first, we are going to join the Stream Elements Discord. And if you're not in there already, I will put up a, a link to join that Discord. And then we're going to go into the widget part of the Discord. So we're going to go down here to the Discord. We're going to go to the widget share. And then we're going to come up here to the shout out avatar. And what we're going to do after that, we're going to click on the prepare for the best and click the strms.net shout out avatar by CDOT. So after that, what we are going to have to do, we will, first of all, we're going to need to create a command, a custom command on the stream elements commands website. So of course, streamelements.com slash dashboard slash bot commands, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to go over here to the custom commands. We're going to add a new command exclamation S O. So at, for the response, I would put the money sign with the brackets one. Of course, I have mine is, is dope and deserves a looking into. Check them out in their badassery out at HTTPS, Twitch, blah, blah, blah. I will post this as well in the description so that you can kind of just copy this. You can also kind of adjust it how you want to. But basically what this will do right here is it will replace the ones with the person that you're shouting out channel. So after we make this, we're going to come over here to the overlays. Part. Now, when you have clicked on that link from the widget shares down here, it will add this shout out avatar by C dot. What we're now going to do is go to this edit. So it's going to bring up this screen. If you are unfamiliar with these, you have to press into the layers. So after that, we're going to go into the settings. Now you can set the duration for five seconds and seconds, three seconds, however long or short you want it to be. You can set it for the command. You could set it up to slide up if down left right fade bounce whatever you really want it to do with these it'll do and it'll also have the exit animation now it does have a, sh a name color whenever you are shouting the person out so the name color is going to be the name of them the link color it'll start off as like orange looking now i personally change mine to white and i might even change the name color over here to something like purple or maybe something even brighter than that just so it kind of pops out a little bit better on the screen so then it starts off with this font called sale which is extremely tiny but what i did i changed it over here to abz i felt like it's it's a pretty big font it works very well for it but then after we change the fonts and all that we're going to go over here to the position size and style now the width and the height seem a little messed up at first. So I changed mine over to 800 by 600 because that is the standard browser source uh, width and height when you make a browser source, which is what we're about to do. So I changed mine over to width and height of 800 by 600. Now I have everything already set. So we're gonna go ahead over here to hit save. We're going to hit the preview button or the copy overlay URL. So what that's going to do is that's going to copy the overlay URL so that you can post that into a browser source. So then we're going to come over here to OBS and then we will create a browser source and post that link into the URL part of it. So it'll bring it up, make sure it's 800 by 600. And then after we've made the browser source, we are gonna adjust this a little bit. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger because if we don't, it's gonna be a little bit small. So after that, all we have to do is exclamation SO and whatever the account name is. So we'll just go ahead and put stream elements. 
And what this is going to do, it's going to pop up on our screen, as you see right here, HTTPS, Twitch.tv, Stream Elements. That's, that's the video. That's literally how to do it. It was about two minutes. It's very, very easy to do. Thank you guys so much. And I do just run a remind y'all. I do stream on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 8 p.m. EST. Thank you guys so much again. And peace.